Uncle Ted's going to take it in the 3-0, but I'm not going to predict goals. I'm not that cruel. Okay, well, there we have it. Flipside Tactics considered, again, one of the best teams in the world, certainly a favorite in this tournament, going up against Take 3, the number four seed from North America. But as Gibbs mentioned, you know, they can be kind of relaxed right now. It's their first time at a LAN event, and they seem pretty happy. They're just, you know, laughing a bit, so maybe that will mean do pretty well, so we'll have to keep an eye out for that. But it's time to go into the match. It's Flipside Tactics versus Take 3. With the commentary, it's going to be Leaf and Lawler. Take it away, guys. Thank you, Axel Tossin. You said it yourself. I mean, this is a, this is going to be a great one. What a, what a way for me to start off gassing today. Thank you for letting me join you, Lola. Oh, it was totally up to me. What a nice guy. No. <laughs> this is going to be fantastic. We talk about, uh, man, Flipside has just been around for a long time. They've been at the top of the scene forever. I don't think they've ever been considered a bad team. And they're coming to this pretty confident. I mean, you saw the desk talk about it. We saw those interviews. Uh, Marky's just calm and collected. And that whole team has top tier players. I think that's what has Gibbs so confident in his choices as well, is when you have a team like Flipside confident and they're playing calm, they can't be stopped. No one's shown that. Yeah. That they've been able to stop, but that's the benefit of LAN, is this team in Take 3 has never been here before. There's no expectations for them. They can just come play their game and show up. The issue is, is as we've seen towards the end of the season, Zane Jackie's been the one that's had to step up and carry this team. He needs help against a team like Flipside, otherwise they are going to run over this team. It's going to get scary. Well, I mean, speaking of Take 3 and someone like Zane Jackie, all of these players have been right on that cusp. I mean, they've been very close to being at this spot now, and I think... There's probably a drive behind them, and, and we saw them having fun up there. We what other than them. Gibbs dabbing? What more of a drive do you need? Fox, exactly. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I Take 3 could really come out and show up. We saw Rizzo just go off in some of those early series, and, uh, I mean, potentially, but against Flipside, I mean, that's a really tough, really tough match. Yeah, unbelievably tough, like you mentioned, but that's the time to show it. Like, you're on the biggest stage right now for this game. Why not prove it to everybody that you have a chance? Take 3, now's your shot. Absolutely. Well, we're going to get down into game number one of Flipside Tactics versus Take 3 in a best of five to see who advances on into the upper bracket, who drops to the lower. As already, Flipside trying to make an early attack. We'll see if they can get possession here in a shot. Marky Duda puts one in very, very quickly. Eight seconds coming in. He plays this shot perfectly. Zane he tries to bring that up the wall, but it hits his car off the nose a little bit too far out. Plays it right down to Marky. Rizzo has to make a save attempt. But Marky places it better right underneath, gets himself a goal. Well, hopefully Take 3 can keep themselves together. Quick early goal like that can happen, but see if they'll use the momentum off the kickoff here to get one themselves. Zane Jackie up for a shot. And we'll go back to a teammate Rizzo. The backboard passes. They can't quite sneak it in, though. They are a little overcommitted. Could be a counterattack opportunity. Marky can't get to that in time. Rizzo will take advantage, send that right back into the box. Marky with a push out for flip side. They will have a chance now to set up their own attack. Greasy, the patience, can he get it in? Almost squeezes it to the far side, just missing off that post. Cook's here to keep the pressure on Marky for a shot. Bit of a weird pass there. His teammates will leave that alone. Insult sets that a little bit weird. Rizzo will have to try to recuperate, does send that past the midfield. Greasy with a quick intercept. Zane Jackie, bit of ping pong going now as both teams try to feel out this field. Yeah, the pace of this game is definitely slowed. And it's part of the reason is because we didn't really see anything other than that goal right away. But playing the pace, kind of feeling each other out, seeing how this play is going to work. But good to see take three. They're not afraid. They're getting up, getting in the face. Now it's just a matter of maintaining possession. Well, again, now they've gone over a minute now without another goal happening. And if they can hold this off for a long time, they have a chance to find some scoring opportunities. Over committing and stuff like that is definitely not what they want to do, though. They do recover quickly. The shot almost sneaking into the top corner there. Greasy, just a little bit wide. Marky trying to set up another play. They will have to back off as Insul Rizzo and all the team moves up there. Rizzo gets a pass one. Rizzo waiting patiently as he watches Flipside try to get a play started up. They do intercept. Rizzo keeps possession. Zane Jackie to push that off the corner, out to the front. No one to follow up and now Marky and Greasy moving for the net. Can't get it past Insul and that gets pushed to the side. Actually, really good job by Insul. He had three players coming down the field. They were quite scared of how that was going to play out, a pass play or a chip. Doesn't matter, he stays patient, makes a play, and then clears it back downfield. Still only one goal scored in game number one here. Flipside hasn't started dominating yet. Take three is holding off very well so far. Making sure they're not overcommitting to any kind of displays and just patiently watching what Flipside is doing. Chance for Zane to get a pass out 50-50. Favorite Marky Duda there. 
tries to get a bump on Insole. He will make a pass there, a pass out to the front. Zane Jackie to put that in. What a passing play, but they can't finish it off. Right idea coming from Zane Jackie. He gets up and then plays that inside, just not able to get the angle on it to play it in the net, but the pressure coming out again from take three. It is still on as Insole tries to get another play. Zane will have to rush back Rizzo to meet at midfield, but a miss off the wall will go into the hands of Cucks here as he puts that one up into the box of take three. Insole intercepts that one just to keep any scoring opportunities away. Rizzo with a nice clear towards the net, but there's two flip side members stopping that one out. Still only one goal, two minutes left now in game number one. Take three trying to find those opportunities and they're getting some of them, they're getting passing play started, but here could be one. Markey will squeeze another one by two goals for him, and they set themselves ahead even further. Fortunately for take three, Insul tries to play this pass inside, but Rizzo's so far back, he's not able to get it. And because of that, Greasy's able to get up in front first, plays a big long clear, uses the backboard, and then the follow-up. Rizzo needs to go up and make an attempt on that as the last one back, otherwise it's a free shot. Two minutes left, two goals on the scoreboard. Take three is holding off well, but can they keep it up and get some goals of their own? That's a real question we want to see answered here. Good pass from Cooks out to Marquee, but he can't connect with that. Greasy just getting physical. Takes out one, but not insole. He makes it pass. Can't get a shot on target, so they will have to back off. A demo himself. So Rizzo tries to find one off the top bar. A pass a little bit too high for Zane. That goes to Cooks instead as he puts one on target. A little bit high. It will be pushed aside by insole. Flip side's attack was quelled there. Because he's trying to get up from Markey. Good read from Markey and communication to get that one pushed back into take three's end there. But a nice clear from Zane. That's to Rizzo. They will be able to try to create a counterattack, but they lose possession quickly. Regaining it back. There's a nice long clear. Can Insole Rizzo do anything with it? They lose it to Markey. Markey's going to have time to bring this downfield and see what he does with it. Actually, Cookster comes across, but a Ooh. shot inside. But still, these guys, the way they're spreading the field, they're just so comfortable with being that close to each other. Usually it's kind of a detrimental issue, but not for them. They just, they're so comfortable with their team plays to where as soon as it gets called, the comms that they mentioned that they're starting to take more seriously are really coming into play. You're absolutely right. We'll see if they can get any more goals here, but two goals are needed in 45 seconds as we get that last minute hustle for take three to pull this one back to a draw. Zane says to Insole, this could be their first one, but a quick intercept from Greasy, very quick to the ball. Stops that one in a 50-50. Markey tries to turn this ball the other way with 30 seconds left. See if they can get another one set up here. Cooks off the backboard right in front of the net. Greasy couldn't get there in time. Rizzo takes control. Insole slowly coming up behind him here. Waiting for a touch from flip side. They send that to the far side. Rizzo waiting back. 13 seconds left. It'll be difficult to get two goals. This is looking like a flip side game. Yeah, and I think this pace of play style actually favors flip side. The calm collected that poised play style. Even though they're moving to the ball very quickly, they're contesting it very quickly, their actual play style is actually pretty slow, and it's just allowing them to be very methodical. They move around the field, they spread it out, they attack from all positions, and then they just outplay these guys in a sense of positioning. No, you're absolutely right. I mean, both teams were playing fairly slow there. They were just getting maybe some of the nerves out, getting just uh, positioned on the field, understanding what their opponents do, are doing. Take three held off pretty well. I mean, I think a lot of the people expected probably just a blow up from flip side, just completely come out and destroy them. Yeah, back and forth you see it, but as you said, that comfortability. Take three now has the chance to basically come back and prove it. It's something that we saw that energy was able to do initially when they played in the first match of the day, but take three's got a little bit more on their plate, in my opinion. Uh, flip side, when they start to kind of really get full effect going, where they're really attacking, they're really That's coming scary. in at all cylinder, cylinders, and those shots, like they're the number one shot team in the RLCS, and when they get that going, it's scary. Well, I mean, it's again, scary. The, the desk was talking about, uh, you know, we haven't even talked about Cooks, and really in that one, we didn't see too much from him either. When he starts to go off, that's when I start to get scared for the opponents. Um, they haven't yet. Take three has managed to keep the pace with them. Only two goals were scored by flip side um, from a series that, again, a lot of people thought would be crushing. We'll see if they can pull back in this next one. I think if they just keep their heads, they're playing it right right now. If they just play their, you know, keeping their heads right, I think they'll be just fine. Right. And part of the issue with flip side is they kind of started off a little bit slow. They had some issues at the beginning. I know Greasy had vacation that he had to take care of. But as they started ramping through the season, ever since league play week four, they've oh. been insane. Like, nobody's been able to stop them. And part of that reason is because they are spreading out the field, they're taking full utilization of the opportunities given to them. I mean, to 4-0 Northern Gaming in, in like, the regional championships, mm -hmm. it's sending them quite the message. Well, again, I, I've said it before. I think Greasy is one of my most advanced, or players that's gotten so much better in the series. 
from what we saw before. But game number two now. We'll see if Flipside can keep the trend going on in this series of five. No early goal this time for Flipside Tactics. As take three made sure that didn't happen, they might have a chance for an early goal themselves. Zane Jack, he puts themselves on the scoreboard, getting themselves the lead. Exactly what they need to do. They put the pressure, but then Insul gets around and puts a good shot on net. Actually draws out that last man coming across in Greasy, and then he gets cemented, doesn't know what to do. Zane Jack is already up, someone that we're so notorious for seeing. It's just they need to get that Rizzo and Zane Jackie combination going early, but if Insul can step in and help out, why not? Absolutely right. When Zane Jackie is above that crossbar, beware. He's probably putting one in, and he did to find that first one. Only 30 seconds in, though. Flipside has a lot of time to answer this one back. Team clear there as that moves back down and take three's end. Zane Jackie with a nice high lob, but goes to nobody. Should be intercepted by Flipside. It is. Greasy is there to meet it. Cucks right behind. Gets it past one. Zane Jackie can get it past another to the far side. Insole is waiting in net. Stops that attack, but it is not over. Greasy can get another one. Touched up by Insole. This is a bad spot for take three. They do need to recuperate here. Pressure almost overwhelming them. They do manage to hold it off, though, and keep that lead. Yeah, one after another, like you mentioned, that pressure. As soon as the ball goes to get cleared out, there's another player from flip side waiting for it. There it is again. Zane Jackie just has to rotate out. He moves upfield, and it's good to see that they're spacing it. But Flipside's still handling it every single touch. Even though it's not directly at the net, it allows them to get into position to attack. Well, you're right. Keeping possession is very, very critical. And you eventually find your time to strike, and that could almost be it. Marky Duda tries to move in. Does get stopped up by take three, and that'll be their chance for a counterattack. Finding that hole, but can't get past midfield. Flipside putting on the pressure. Maybe going back for boost finally here. There's a shot off the backboard. Greasy up for another one, but a miss. That will head back down to Flipside. A flick there, almost on target. Will be pushed off the backboard. Cooks following it up, knowing that could have been a shot for take three. Rizzo, though, with one on net, and he gets one two ahead now for take three. All because of one missed touch. You see Marky play that off the backboard, and Cookster tries to play it downfield. But because he plays it horizontally off the wall, it plays back into the middle of the field, and Rizzo's just sitting there waiting for it. Gets up early, puts a shot on net. They're up by two, and with three minutes left, there's still plenty of time for flip side. I said it before. I, I mean, take three just has to maintain what they were doing before. Keep that composure and don't try anything silly. And look where they are now. Two goals ahead of flip side tactics. That first EU seed. Another one! Big what a rocket! Ahead. Off the crossbar! You see it again. Just this aggression coming out. Beats. They have two defenders. The big mistake. Sending two out, it leaves Marky in goal alone. But to try to read that off the crossbar, You're not saving that. it comes down and hits him <laughs> in the nose and goes in. Well played. This aggression from take three. Well placed and three goals up, as you just said. Three minutes, though, it's still a lot of time, and we know Flipside can turn this one around. We'll see if they can do it in game number two here in this best of five, or if take three is going to even up the series with a point of their own. Insole with another one out front there. Zane Jackie trying to get a 50-50 on Greasy. That goes back out to midfield where Rizzo is waiting. A pop over two. Can he get it past the third? Marky, good composure. Keeps that one down to take three's end. Insole, a nice 50-50. Rizzo up to get that across field. His team wasn't there. Cooks was instead. But Zane reading that possession giveaway. Takes it himself. But now some pressure on Cooks. Can he put this one in? Rizzo reading that properly. Keeps it out. But a good passing play. And that's going to be just off target. Flip side so close to getting a goal. Right idea as well. That passing play so unselfish of this team. He had a shot on net, but it was easily saved. So what does he do? He drops it off to his teammate. It's just the defense from take three coming up and then the counterattacks. They're really starting to maintain, pushing that ball back downfield. As Zane Jackie trying to go for air dribble, he pinches it off the back. Okay, over zero, calm down. Almost gets one in there, but they're up three still. With two minutes left, they're holding off well. Can Zane get a save? He does. Zane Jackie is all over the place right now. Absolutely incredible. We'll see if they can turn this around and get a goal out of it. Or flip side really needs to start getting some plays set up here. They're having difficulty finding the back of the net right now. They are overcommitted. Marky the only one back. Quick breakout here, four take three. Could be a scoring chance. They don't get possession quick enough. They will have to get it past all three now. Good communication there to get that in front of the net. That's a scary spot. Marky with a save. Just stops that one out. Insole was ready to put that in. We'll see if they can get possession there. A little bit confusion. That heads back down to flip side. That is a weird, weird play for flip. What even happened? Flip side, uh, what's going on? So Marky's trying to aggress. Gets Rizzo all the way, but Insul's able to play that back up. But then he just bodies him. Like, he gets in front of him. Greasy can't make a touch. It's just positioning. Like, they're not ready for that ball to come around. Too relaxed. Yeah, like, guys, hello? What are you doing? 4-0 now for take three with a minute remaining. 
I, I mean, it'd be today? really hard to mess this one up for take three. Did you think you were going to say that today? No. Not at all, right? They are about to take one off flip side. This will not be a quick sweep at all. With a minute remaining, I am confident that take three is going to take this game, but we'll see if they can hold it up here. They just have to make sure they don't get scored on. This flip side probably going to try to get a couple goals to get momentum going into the next game, and that's very important. Right. Part of that is, like you said, you want to start scoring goals. It's more of a matter of proving it to yourself that you can, and obviously we know they can, but with this mental game playing a factor, they haven't really looked strong. Like, this pace is actually totally benefiting take three. They're just moving down the Ooh. field. And then that placement from Rizzo, another one? As you said it, the placement, 30 seconds left there, just going in there and not stopping. Rizzo just finds a nice long shot. Zane tries to get a little redirect, but it went in anyways. Well, looking into game number three now, obviously up by five, very difficult to come back. Not gonna happen. But flip side, like, this is something that they need to notice. Like, take three looks collected. They're, they're really relaxed. They have no reason not to be. I mean, everybody counts them as the underdog, and they're taking that to full advantage. But Flipside needs to come in. They need to show that aggression, show that fast play style, these quick attacks that Zane Jackie just seems to be saving back to back. Zane Jackie is all over the place right now, and I expect that to not stop coming into game number three. As this one comes, it comes down to the final 10 seconds, a 5-0 win for take three over flip side tactics that is just insane and we're all tied up in the series now unbelievable going into game three between these two teams you see the back and forth yet again we saw it earlier in the day but now these guys are trying to prove that point but it wasn't as big as the swing from 2-0 to 5-0 in the other way but still like you mentioned Rizzo needed that help out with Zane Jackie Zane Jackie now playing everywhere on the field you see him he's making passes he's taking a ton of saves for this team but still, Insult, the one who's been kind of quiet, is actually stepping up. That's what we needed to see. Everybody doing their role for this team. And it's part of the reason why they're ahead. Well, as you said, I mean, that's, it comes down to it. It's a team game. You got to play as a team. And that's exactly what Take Three is doing. I mean, Zane Jack, even though he's at the bottom of that scoreboard there, we just talked about how incredibly well he's playing. It goes to show that points don't mean everything. He is all over the place, making incredible shots, saves. He's there for his team. And I mean, we talked about how it's, it might just come down to Rizzo playing really well. He is on point right Yeah, all those shots placements-wise have been perfect. Top left, can't get any better. Now on the other side, there was issues that in the season, in the last couple of games, the benefit to the split side team is they're all very talented. Mm -hmm. Greasy stepped up, he looked very calm in the league play and towards the regional championships, and that's what made them kind of look as strong as they did. But the issue was is Marky actually had a little bit of a slump in that. He was playing a little bit lesser than what we were used to, but still, in this match, the first match, he looked composed. He was bringing down the field. He was contesting well. Second game, we didn't see it. I honestly think this one was going to rely on Markey. Oh, you're right. I mean, honestly, the communication in the team just really has to come together because that was just a little bit sloppier than what I'd like to see from Flipside. But I'm most certainly not counting Flipside out at this point. At all. No, game why would you? <laughs> game no way. number three. Flipside Tactics and Take 3. Take 3 just took a 5-0 win off Flipside Tactics. A team that was expected to not do very well against Flipside. And they just pulled off that feat. They're, they got to be feeling good right now. We'll see if they can get another early one. Insul is up. Can he get a second touch? Not quite towards the net. A little bit of pressure there from the team. They will have to back off. Play this smart. They committed too hard there. Could have been goal on their own net. Greasy the last one to defend. Rizzo is up, but Greasy just gets that one out of the way. They need to be careful though. Insul went up for that as well. If he gets in the way, that's two up. And then the counterattack can come in. Something you need to be careful of because as flip side moves down the field, they get stronger and stronger when there's multiple people coming down with them. Approaching almost a minute now, still no goals. We'll see though if Cooks are going to into the far side. Look at the placement on that, and that is the Cooks we love. Picture perfect placement coming up from Cooks playing that on the bottom right. He takes one tap over the top with the help of Breezy, just a quick pop up off the hood, and then right over, Cooks places it bottom left perfectly using that Batmobile. He's wiggling, he's happy. He's excited. He's like, all right, guys, we're on track to take this series now. They put themselves into the lead. We'll see if they can extend it with another shot. Marky almost finds the short side. Rizzo does stop that one out. Now he has a chance, though, to get possession here. Probably out of boost. We'll have to play 50-50 towards the net. Marky does rotate back in time on defense to keep that one out. And they do collect themselves back down towards take threes. And scary spot now. Cooks has a chance, tries to set that up for Greasy, but it was a little bit too hard. As they try to get these passing plays to each other, Insul will intercept and get one back down towards flip side, starting that boost starvation. We'll see if they can capitalize on that one with a shot on net. Insul keeps the pressure on here. No one there to help him out. They will break down towards their own end. Yeah, really well played though. Zane Jackie recognized that he wasn't going to be able to get anything out of that. 
rotates back after getting that boost, puts himself in a position, and then lets Insult play up. Now they are all boosted up, ready to make a play, but it just doesn't matter. The possession game is starting to favor Flipside again. Still one goal lead for Flipside Tactics. Take three is yet to answer that one. As they're back in their own end, they need to break this one out. See if he can do it here. Insult has a chance for 50 50 to win over Greasy. He gets it. Saying Jackie to take this away and gets that bounce over Marky. Almost past Cooks here. Rizzo was there to help him out, but they couldn't quite force that one through. Marky will set one up for Cooks. Cooks on target, but a little bit too soft. Easy save and clear for Insult. Marky was ready back, though. Knowing that would probably go into their hands. Greasy with a high pop. Cooks is up. Almost got greeted in the air, but. No one connects with that. Insole to the midline. Can he get something set up? He's by himself. Greasy just waits patiently for Insole to make a mistake, and they take possession back. A bounce shot towards the net, and Marky finds the back and extends their lead. Good patience coming up from flip side. You see Greasy pop this up and wins the 50-50 with Zane. Gets sent flying, but as soon as it's down, you've got two players behind you, both Marky and Cooks, waiting. Marky puts the shot on net, just unpredictable. Bounces it up, gets out one defender, and plays it right over the top. Right, beautiful bounce shot from Marky Duda. Hitting another goal for his team. Two and a half minutes left in game number three. We'll see if they can extend their lead in the series. Hold on to this lead here. Greasy with another one. Extending it on the goal line. St. Jack has to be so patient, but he can't get it off the goal line. And that will finally go in. Yeah, Greasy with a good shot. Plays that. Hits bar down and gets stuck. Eventually going to go in. But for Zane, Zane only has kind of a couple split seconds to make a decision. Right. Because you know the rest of this team is going to throw everything into that goal just to make sure it goes in. But still, halfway through this match, still plenty of time for take three to come back. Rizzo with a pop off the backboard there. No one to follow it up. Greasy was bumped there, but manages to drop that down to Cooks. Cooks with a roll off the roof. Greasy misses that. Rizzo catches it with his underside, so it goes in no one's favor. Insole catches that shot from Marky and sends it to midfield. Tries to 50-50. Greasy gets that one past him. A nice bump from Greasy. Gives possession right back over to Cooks. As he gets it past two, can he set something up for Marky? He's there. A little bit too high. He can't drop that one down. They will have to try again as the possession now and take three's hands as they are having difficulty breaking out of their own end at this point. Right. Pressure's starting to come from flip side, just spreading the field really well, attacking correctly. But a lot of it has to do with the decision making. Some sides are doing it better than others. But there's a couple times where these guys just aren't doing 50-50s. We mentioned how important they are. But sometimes it's actually better not to. You're forcing these guys then to play it into a position, and then you wait for it. But it's got opportunity coming out, not able to capitalize. On the goal line again, we've seen a couple in game number three here. That one doesn't manage to make it to the back of the net. A minute 23 left. Take three has a chance to pull this game back. But the way the flip side's playing right now, I don't know if they can do it. Such smart decision making coming out. Rizzo dribbles that one to the side from the air. That's over commitments. Markey can't squeeze it by, though. As a take three defense barely manages to recuperate and keep that ball out of the net. With a minute left, this is difficult. The pressure is unreal coming up from Flipside right now. They are not letting up. They have figured out what they need to do against Take 3. All right, that's the benefit of being up by 3. It allows them to play a little bit more aggressive. And you see it. Cooks are take, coming off that back line actually pretty early to make a play. But the fake one, fake oh, another for Marky. No. But Rizzo stands him up and Insol makes a save. Rizzo just got, I think, a little bit lucky that Marky couldn't squeeze that one by. But that's going to be in the net. Cooks here getting credit for that one. 4-0. Doing everything they can to keep it out of the net is take three, but still one after another. Cooks here with a beautiful pop, plays it up really high, and just not able to get a touch on it is Zane Jackie. And because of that, bottom right corner, perfect place, up by four, and yet another turn of events. These have been pretty, like, convincing wins either way. And I'm curious to see if take three is going to be able to do that, or if this. Cooks here, don't do that. Not yet. But 4-0, I mean, 30 seconds left, not likely to happen, but it can take three, pull back and do what they did in game number two. I mean, Flipside is looking a lot more uh, confident in what they're doing. They're, they're giving the ball to their opponents and letting them give it back so they can take a shot. Well, I mean, that's the beauty of Rocket League, is at any point these teams can come back. We've seen teams go down 6-7, nothing, and then the next game come back and win convincingly. Yep. So it's a matter of how well these players adapt. And this is the difference in that land experience, is under this pressure, under that mental game, do you have the ability to stay composed, stay, you know, on a mental game that's healthy and say, okay, guys, we already beat them once. What did we do that beat them so well? Okay, they're playing faster now. How do we counter that? And that's the stuff that's very, very difficult. Flipside Tactics taking game number three against take three. They're now 2-1 in the series. If they win the next game, they're going to win this series and move on on the upper side, pushing take three down into the lower side of the bracket. 
But we'll see if Take Three can bring us to a game number five. I'd like to see a game number five because I really, really want to see Gibbs Depp. <laughs> I mean, that's one motivation. Hopefully, uh, Take 3 has the same one. But for this crowd, I mean, I think we should see Game 5. Yeah. But coming out, you see these teams with the way that they're back and forth. It just looks like Take 3 is now, other than Zane Jackie, he's trying to make some plays. Grizzle's trying to make some plays as well. They need to move together as a team as well once again. Before, everybody was playing their part, and you're just starting to see these teams fall out. They're relying too much on others. Someone be that guy to go make that play, and it just hasn't happened again. I mean, the big thing for Take 3 is they were stuck in their own end a little bit, I think, more than they would have wanted. They right. really have to find that critical counterattack moment, that one small hole in the offense from flip side and break out of it. That has got to be their focus coming in to game number four because, as I said, flip side is giving them the ball with full intent of taking it back. Like, here, Take 3, have the ball. You're just going to give it to us, and that's exactly what they're doing. Take 3 has to find those breakout points. Well, there's two factors that go into that. Part of the difficult aspect of a counterplay is a lot of it has to do with moving it up as a team. And they haven't seen really big passes coming out from multiple players. Mm -hmm. One player tries to make a clear, and then flip side's already there meeting it, and they put it right back in. Yeah. It's almost as if they're doing it on purpose. Second part of that is the pressure that's coming through from flip side. They are putting it in these guys. They're hitting them from all sides of the field. And as soon as they try to make something happen, there's already someone there to meet them, and it shuts it down. Well, we'll see if Take 3 can pull this back. Game number four between flip side tactics and Take 3 on the upper side. Their first series of the day, of the finals. And this is a, a match point for Flipside. If they take this game, we'll walk away with a win in the series. Breezy trying to set up a quick shot there for himself. Zane Jackie off the ball to Insole. Insole will win that 50-50. Markey way out of the play. Insole trying to get one off the backboard. Cux pushes it to the side. Zane is up for a shot. Can't follow it himself. Cux will get a nice clear towards the other end. That's on target. Rizzo just has to get out. Markey. Almost getting the read on that. Not afraid at all. Marky's actually going to follow that all the way through and then just shadows the player. As soon as he goes up for a jump, he tries to predict where it's going to land, gets super close for that post in the way. Just unbelievable reads coming out from flip side. Trying to break out here. Rizzo gets control, gets it past one, but not Cux. A wall back there with the Batmobile. Nice clear to midfield. Insole does intercept that. Marky. Patiently waiting, doesn't overcommit, but loses possession. Insole, Zane Jackie there tries to get a bump on Cooks to give Insole a chance to push through for a shot himself. Can't quite do it. Still scoreless, just over a minute in to game number four. Insole, Zane Jackie, Rizzo need to break out here. This is where they got caught last game. We need to make sure they can break out. They do. Zane Jackie, nice clear to the far side. Breezy up the wall. Met by Insole, but Insole out of the play. Zane. Thankfully connected with that, otherwise it would have been a scary spot for Rizzo back by himself on net. All the flip side attacking, not a spot you want to be in. Two minutes in, still scoreless. Cooks tries to get a pass, but an easy stop for Insole. Zane Jackie getting physical here, letting Insole push that one past the midfield. See if they can get possession back. Probably going to the hands of flip side as they move this one back down. Both teams breaking out, but having trouble finding scoring opportunities. Part of it has to do, like, take notice of Greasy's wall play. It's been phenomenal. Just the way he's utilizing that second boost or that second jump, as soon as he comes off the wall, he jumps a little bit, and then he has roughly two seconds to use it again. But the way that he rotates his car sideways and then jumps again, flips his nose towards it, and gives him a little bit more propulsion towards that ball to hit it a little bit harder, and it's just putting it in a place that's a little bit more difficult for take three. Marky Duda with a nice chip up, trying to follow it himself. Waits for Insole to miss that. Greasy there, ready for a pass. The speed on him getting to that ball. Can't quite put it in, though. That will get stopped out by the Take 3 defense. This awkward spot here. Insole just gets up, but not enough power to push it out. Zane Jackie will have to support him as Flipside tries to put in that first one. Two and a half minutes left. Still scoreless between these two teams as Take 3 definitely has corrected any mistakes they're making the last one, but they still can't find the back of the net. Right. A lot of it still spending a lot of time on their half of the field. Good flick to get it out as this team on Flipside tries to aggress. But now it's a matter of can they do anything with it? And the problem has been that as soon as the ball gets on flip side side, they push it right back out. Oh, absolutely. And as, as you just said, Markey tries to play this one. Rizzo with the patience there knowing, hey, Markey, I'm not gonna fall for your shenanigans here. Cooks with a bit of miss. Markey will have to follow that one up. Trying to follow a second touch himself. Rizzo knows better and gets that one out there. Meeting the ball a lot quicker and just playing it really smart. Take three is doing a good job of watching flip side, watching what they're doing and making sure to not give away that possession. Minute 30 left, still scoreless here. Shot on net, Greasy can't find the back of the net. Rizzo now has a chance. There's no one in net, but he can't connect with it. And we will still be scoreless. So there's Insole with the pressure on, trying to catch Flipside in an awkward defensive positioning. 
They do manage to get themselves together there and push the ball out, but trying to get a play started is still difficult. What I'm curious about is I would love to see Rizzo actually not go for those 50s, 50s on the backboard. Even if it pinches, it's going to settle down at best, but it still, it takes him completely out of the play. You might as well let Greasy go up and hit it and then just wait for where he's going to place the ball. It's going to work out better in your favor, and then you get a quick counterattack. It might catch this flip side team off guard. Marky with a pass out to Greasy. Look at that follow through, putting the first one in and likely the only goal we'll see. Using the height of this map, he plays it up top and then another touch following it up to push it against the ball, against the backboard. It comes out again and then Greasy following it up, putting a shot with 53 seconds left and the pressure that they've been applying. They're looking real good to close out this series. Greasy so fast on this field and Flipside is utilizing it. Great pass from Marky due to the to get that one out of Greasy, and he just slams that one home. 43 seconds left now. Only one goal separates them. Take three has a chance, but since we've been scoreless this whole time, this is going to be very difficult for them to maintain composure and get one in here. They will have to rush really hard and put on a lot of scary uh, offensive pressure here and give up some de defensive pressure. Oh, that pressure! pressure. Wow! Side. Another one flip side now gets two goals and puts themselves further in the lead. Cooks are doing exactly what I was talking about with Rizzo. He sits back and waits for them to play the ball out. As soon as there's a little bit of space, he jumps in, pinches it, and then he follows it. It's just that pass afterwards. It comes a little bit off the wall, a soft little tap inside, and then a beautiful shot, one after another. These guys really following through. Well, if take three doesn't get two oh, goals, there's one! One more goal now in 20 seconds. They can still pull this back. Otherwise, Flipside is going to take the series. Coming from so far back, Ooh. beats Cookser midfield and beats him out. But then the placement, just enough power to play back. 20 seconds left, they have a chance. You're absolutely right, they have a chance. If they can get another one off the kickoff like that, this could be it. Up in the air, Zane Jackie gets it past Markey, but no one to follow it. They need speed. Insole with a little bit of a wide pass there. Rizzo will be up to set that for Insole. He's out of position. This is going to be difficult. Eight seconds left. They need one goal. Otherwise, flip side will walk away with the win here. They have a chance to push this forward. That ball can stay in the air. And they still have a chance, but this looks like it. Greasy with a shot. Another one. Almost. Oh. No, Greasy. Almost got the Moy, guys. So oh, close. Oh, man. You can hear it from the crowd in this stadium in Amsterdam. They wanted that so bad, but still, take three. Trying to battle back, just not enough as Flipside shoves it down the middle, trying to get one last goal before they take a break. That would have been the icing on the cake on that one, but there's Flipside. Congratulations. They are going to move on. They take it against take three, but take three actually showed a lot of promise. I mean, that's the hardest team potentially in this entire tournament right now, and you just did decently well against them. Yeah, those games were close. Obviously, at the beginning, they were completely <laughs> swung one way or the other. But then the decider, the one that matters most, they come out, they play very strong, mm -hmm. they keep it within one. Zane Jack yet again trying to carry this entire team, but still the help. You see Insul and Rizzo starting to step up for this team. It's phenomenal. They still are not out yet. Hopefully, we'll see them later. I I'm actually really excited to see them, but I mean, uh, I'm now really excited to see Carizzi <laughs> do some I mean, We saw him do that in the league play in the regional finals. I'm, I'm excited to see some more of that, uh, that potential freestyling there, but uh, we'll have to wait till later uh, because we're going to go up onto the stage right now um, with Kelly and Marky Duda and see what they have to say. That's right. Marky Duda is joining me here. Can we get a round of applause for these guys? So being the number one seed out of EU and also the favorites to win this tournament, does that add, that add like a level of pressure to you or does it just add more energy, more confidence? Um, I didn't think there'd be any pressure, but then the second we sat down, we got like super nervous and really sweaty, so <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but being nervous isn't necessarily a bad thing, and we saw you guys dominate game one, but game two, obviously, it, it shifted in the other team's favor. What exactly happened in game two? Um, I think it was just nerves, to be honest. We just didn't play well. We were confused as to what was going on. I was just flopping about doing nothing, so, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so, Mocket versus Orbit up next. Who would you rather face against? Uh, probably mock it just because we played them a lot and we beat them a lot. But, yeah. Well, we'll be finding out very soon. Is there anything you want to say to your fans? It seems like you have a lot of fans in the uh, audience. Thank you for coming. Hello. <laughs> Congratulations on your win and good luck in the next round. Guys, let's go to the casters once more for match three analysis. Thank you, Kelly, and congrats to Flipside Tactics taking home uh, that first round of eight victory with the 
Pretty nice uh, win there. Over take three. Flip side could be advancing on to the next round. Axel Toss, Gibbs, and Findable Carpet. But let's take a look at the Mobile One High Performance Replay and recap exactly how Flipside Tactics was able to get that done. And Mark, you just said it, it did look like Flipside was not playing up to their potential for most of this series, even though uh, game one was a 2-0 win uh, with Mark again. Two pretty e uh, easy goals for him, but then take three, 5-0 in game number two. I had to start practicing my dabbing carpet. It was getting close. I mean, Rizzo with a hat trick. But as we, and you know, Mark was just talking about it, a team that has some of the most experience on the stage. They, they played so much in lane one, still had the nerves going up and almost could have costed them more than just this one game. Uh, plus, at the same time, like we saw take three between matches. Like they lost game one, and they were laughing about it. Like they were having a really <laughs> good time, and I think that really helped them during the series and keep it close. They were bothering Flipside a lot, just on every possession. So uh, Flipside couldn't get their passing uh, done really at all. So uh, that's why they kept the shots down too from Flipside, because like Flipside was averaging about like a little over ten shots a game, and they weren't uh, putting the, uh, those numbers up here. And that's versus take three. So yeah. Flipside has to regroup a little bit, and maybe those nerves are gone now, but uh, take three at the same time. They didn't play terrible, and they can go uh, into that next round being pretty confident. Positivity from take three especially, I mean, it brought them to a good degree, mm -hmm. especially because Flipside's major, you know, ability is to just put so much pressure, you feel overwhelmed, you don't know what to do, you're like, oh, how am I supposed to defend all this? But since they were just so casual, they were actually able to bat away a lot of the attempts, but uh, just not enough. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Flipside is going to have to figure out those nerves going forward for sure if they're going to make a deep run into this tournament, but they're certainly capable of doing so. A pleasant surprise, though, indeed, to see Take 3 play so well in that game, too. Hopefully they take that game and like, all right, guys, a lot of stuff will work for us that game. Let's see if we can do that in the lower bracket. Again, Take 3 is not out of the tournament just yet, as uh, lower bracket matches will be happening a little bit later. Speaking of a little bit later, we are going to take a little break here from the stream, but coming up next, we have the final quarter final, the final round of eight match. That's North America versus Europe. Once again, Orbit versus Mocket Aces will be the next match that you see on stream as the Rocket League Championship Series Season 2 Grand Finals continues here from Amsterdam. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back.